The Royal agents have conducted their uh, end of financial year sale on Wednesday and Anthony Delaney joins me. Anthony, a cracking yard of cattle here today and well supported from a lot of districts. Yeah, it was Murray. Today's yarding certainly certainly uh, it was a big improvement on recent sales. The calves had a lot more weight, stretch and stand up than we've seen previous spring drop weaner sales have had. We've seen a lot more support. We've had buying support today from South Australia. We've had buying support from the north, we've had buying support from Gippsland, locally was good too, and also sort of through areas we don't normally see a lot, right through sort of Bort and through the Mallee in those areas. Yeah, so, good cross section. Yeah, the market here took took a, a lift what it deserved, and um, a lot of cattle, especially in your front line of cattle, just nudged $3 a kilo. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty safe way today of working out with most of the weights here around the $3 mark, and they weren't too far wrong. Everyone today sort of had that to spend, and uh, yeah, deservedly the car. Still a lot of people uh, looking, wanting to buy that uh, just uh, a bit uh, um, backward in their thoughts about the season. Yep, yep. It's sort of hard to know what they're worth at the moment. We see the fat market for the finished product very good at the minute. And yet once you, if you can't quite finish them, you get a big discount. So sort of the store market's just finding its level at the moment. So yeah. I think we really saw that today in the top end of the cars. We saw a big improvement. Probably so much the lighter end. Not so much an improvement, but there wasn't many real small or light calves here. Yeah, the heifer market was uh, quite buoyant, really, to it what was. we've seen. That what we've seen yep. over the past fortnight or three weeks, and then in the Gippsland, in the um, uh, you know through through the autumn, where two dollars and two twenty. Most of these calves here today, two forty, two sixty. Yep. Yep. And there were good clean starts. It was good competitive bidding. It was a real buoyant sale. And with the heifer market, certainly had a lift of a good. Fifty to sixty dollars right across the board. Yeah, good dispersals uh, um, in the uh, cow and calf market. Yep. Yeah, the cow and calf market today saw good forward condition cows, with good Charolais cross and Angus calves at foot. Ideal weaners come this to come sort of January next year, December January. So if you had the feed, you didn't have to feed these cattle up. They were ideal, good condition to get through the winter. Yeah. So it was a very good opportunity. Sixteen hundred dollars there for those cows and cows. The uh, the uh, joint heifer market a bit a bit sticky. Uh, sort of a, a thousand to thirteen hundred and sixty odd dollars. A bit sticky. Top end of it was okay for the best heifers. I think Elvis sold the good hopes and so forth. They sold pretty well up to thirteen. But then you come, once you got onto bits and pieces or anything, just quite off the top, you come down to not much over kill value. But that's that's what we've seen over the last month or six weeks. Yeah. Good day out though. Andrew. Very good day, Murray. Thank you.